elements want to have a full, stable, out-of-electron shell like the noble gas elements found in Group 8 of the periodic table. What we're focusing on is the energy levels and the maximum number of electrons that can occupy that energy level. This is where we have to look at the electron arrangement of that particular element. If the outermost occupied energy level is the first energy level, it can hold and wants to achieve a maximum of two electrons. If the outermost energy level is the second energy level, it wants to achieve and hold a maximum of eight electrons. If the third energy level is the outermost occupied energy level, it wants to also occupy a total of eight electrons. Metal elements can be found on the left hand side of the periodic table. Metal atoms always lose electrons to form positive ions. The lithium atom has the electron arrangement 2-1. It has three protons and three electrons, so it has zero charge. However, all elements want to achieve stability by having a full, stable outer electron shell. The lithium atom will want to lose one electron. This means it's got more protons than electrons. The overall charge of this ion is positive one. Beryllium is found in group two and has the electron arrangement two, two. To achieve stability, we look at the outermost occupied energy level and the beryllium atom will want to lose two electrons to become stable. This means that the electron arrangement is two. We still have four protons inside the nucleus, but we now only have two electrons, which means the charge on the beryllium ion is two positive. Aluminium is found in group three of the periodic table. It has the electron arrangement 2, 8, 3. All elements want to achieve stability by having a full, stable outer electron shell. Aluminium has three electrons in its outer shell and it's easier for it to lose three than gain five. So therefore, the ion would have the electron arrangement 2, 8. We've not changed the number of protons inside the nucleus, but we have changed the number of electrons. This means that the aluminium ion would have a three plus charge. Non-metal elements can be found on the right-hand side of the periodic table. Non-metal atoms always gain electrons to form negative ions. Group zero, however, have already achieved a full stable outer electron arrangement, so will never form an ion. Nitrogen is a non-metal. It has the electron arrangement to five. All elements want to achieve stability by having a full, stable outer electron shell. Nitrogen atom will gain three electrons to form a nitrogen ion. The number of protons inside the nucleus has remained the same, but this time we have 10 electrons. That means the charge on the nitrogen ion is three minus. Oxygen is found in group six of the periodic table. It has the electron arrangement to six. In its outermost occupied energy level, it has six electrons and it wants to gain two to achieve stability. This means that when we look at the number of protons and electrons for the ion, it has more electrons than protons, which gives the oxygen ion a two minus charge. Fluorine has the electron arrangement to seven. It's got seven electrons in its outermost occupied energy level. To achieve stabi stability, it wants to gain one electron to have the electron arrangement to eight. This means it's got more electrons than protons and therefore the charge on the fluorine when it becomes an ion, which is known as a fluoride ion, would be one minus. Ions are formed when metal atoms lose electrons and these are transferred to non-metal atoms to form negative ions. Remember that opposites attract. The positive metal ion will be attracted to the negative non-metal ion. The electrostatic force of attraction between the positive and negative ions is known as ionic bonding. This past paper question is from the National 5, 2017, written 3C. When chlorine reacts with sodium, the ionic compound sodium chloride is formed. 
A chloride ion has a stable electron arrangement. Describe how a chlorine atom achieves this stable electron arrangement. If we look at the electron arrangement of chlorine atom, it has the electron arrangement 287. All elements want to achieve stability by having a full stable outer electron shell. So it gains an electron from the sodium atom to become a chloride ion. This past paper question comes from the National 5, 2016, multiple choice 3. When an atom X of an element in group 1 reacts, it becomes X+. plus. So what we can see is that X has a positive charge. Metal atoms always lose electrons to form positive ions. So therefore, we're looking at the quantity of electrons that that ion has. This is the subatomic particle which is changing. The mass number is when we look at the number of protons and neutrons. The atomic number is equal to the number of protons. The charge of the nucleus is again focusing on the protons and the neutrons as they are found there. So the correct answer must be D. The number of occupied energy levels decreases as this is where the electrons can be found.